Is it hot or warm or cold? This one is cold. This one is hot. Ah! We have not you didn't step to this yet. This one is like hot water, cold water. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, our Renga. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you say, where is this guy again? Okay, anyway, from the title, you all must have known where I am. I am here, live and direct, at the world famous Ikogusi Warm Spring. This is the entrance, so we are going in to see what this place really looked like. I'm sure most of you, you click on this uh, title because you want to see. I've been wanting to be here for years. I won't tell you much about it. I have the MD of this wonderful place. And the MD is no other person than Chief Ayo Ademuluwabi Ademiluwa. You are welcome, sir. Hello, everybody. I am High Chief Ayuade Milua, the Asawi of Ikogo Sekiti, and the Managing Director of Ikogo Sewon Spring Resort. Ah, Ikogo <laughs> What does that signify to you people? While we are approaching the uh, spring, I don't know if there's anything you just want to tell us about the vicinity, because this place is just too beautiful. It's too beautiful, honestly. And I can't believe that we have such a thing here in Southwest. Not to talk of a... <laughs> honestly, it's just so amazing. Yeah. Um, because One Spring Resort actually started as a missionary camp several years ago, I, I think in the 50s, 60s. Uh, it was along the line that the federal government took over management of the resort for the missionaries before it uh, was actually developed by the missionaries you know the land where it stands used to belong to the Asawi family and uh, I'm the present Asawi so it's just sheer coincidence that uh, I happen to be the managing director managing now director. Uh, along the line, when the federal government took over, they handed it over to Ondo states. Wow. So when they separated the Siamese strings, that is the Kiti and uh, oh. Ondo states, you know, naturally it, it belonged to the Kiti states. states. And uh, we have seen different uh, successive governments. Otumbani Adebayo tried his best. <clears throat> every, every other governor, they tried their best. But Governor Fayemin brought the resort to the highest peak it has ever attained during his first term. A lot of money was spent here, and uh, this place became a world standard tourist center mm. before, well, the rest is history. Wow. Uh, so many things happened, but then you can see if you look around now, we are still battling with some decays, but that will be over as from January. Uh, as from January, we are hopeful that there will be renovations and uh, further developments. Yes. Well, now uh, it's not Ikogosi generally. It's not only the water that could be a tourist center in Ikogosi. There are several other tourist uh, 
centers, so to speak, but that are highly undeveloped. Undeveloped. Because the one spring resort is underdeveloped. Underdeveloped, yeah. So when I say undeveloped at all, like um, the first plane crash in Africa, it was a cargo plane that happened, you know, it crashed somewhere on a hill just at the back outskirt of this town in 1942, there about. I was nowhere to be found there. But it happened here in the Kogo Sea. The, even the relics of the of the of the pl of the plane, wow. they are still there. So do some people over the years cutted away so many other parts, but the relics are still there for people to see. I've been there. Um, we have a, a, a spring. There's a spring that is flowing in the Kogo Sea just on the way to Ibaraudo here. It does not have a single fish in it. Mm -hmm. It's full of shrimps. Wow. You know, I wouldn't know maybe it's uh, that it's possible for the shrimps to be in commercial quantity, but uh, people don't even play, they, they don't pay attention, attention to, it, to yeah. it. It's there, it's a very cold little spring there, you know. There is this lake that used to be on the way to Ogotun, that's behind the town here. The lake, according to history, used to be a river that used to drown people. It was a certain powerful man in Ikogosi here that used his magical powers to tie the, 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 the flowing river to a baobab tree mm. and it became a lake it could not flow anymore even the chain that was used to tie it to the tree is still very visible well mm -hmm. and it became a lake during the wars you know the warring days and uh, you know I learned there were enemy soldiers that were coming in from Ogotun so the water now penitent you know felt that okay at least he was now repentant that he needed to assist or to help his town you know decided to cover its face you know it's not a lake it's no mm -hmm. longer flowing not but flowing. very deep wow. and drowns it can wow. drown anybody wow so he now covered its face with water hyacinth you know they felt it was a playing ground all the soldiers got drowned in it in fact, some people say, I've not seen it before, that though it negates the, the, the logic, but that the, 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 the weapons of those soldiers, that it will still bring them up annually for people to see that I actually saved my town. Here is the evidence. The weapons of the soldiers, they would, they would float. Float, yes. And go down again. The, 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 the lake stay there wow that is i mean to me it could become another tourist, tourist center center yeah. you know here and there like opposed to ayo babalola the cc uh, uh uh founder blessed a water that they call omi adura omi babalola in ikogo city the water is there it's in the bush there i traced it i've been there you know some people still maneuver their ways to go and have spiritual baths in it you know, but it has therapeutic powers that. Wow. Now, coming to Ikogosu One Spring. Ikogosu One Spring, I would like to refer to them as springs. Ikogosu Warm Springs. Springs, okay. Before now, I came here as the MD in May last year. And uh, when I came, I told my staff, I said, are you guys are aware that there are actually three meeting points here this they were like wow okay, what are you talking about you know we've been working here for years we are not aware of that blah blah like that i said okay follow me i brought them to uh, to, to, to the poolside where the water is flowing you know when you have two things warm and cold there could only be three combinations mm -hmm. yeah warm and cold that is the one people got to know over the years but now i i wouldn't i want to be modest i can say maybe i made a discovery, discovery yeah. they've been there for years several years but we now have the meeting point of the warm and warmer springs wow a meeting point of cold and colder springs and the four waters are clearly different they are trying to maintain their thermal identities even physical identities, you know, comparing the sand, the underneath sand of each of these four springs, they are different. Wow. The warm and the warmer springs join together in a confluence 
and they form the warm spring you see at the meeting point of the warm and cold. The cold and colder spring, they form the, uh, the cold spring that you see at the meeting point of the cold and cold springs. So actually, at the end, at the other end of here, uh, of this, uh, the, where all of them have merged, right? there are actually four different springs. That is why I would like to refer to this place because we say warm springs, springs. because there are two, warm and cold springs center. Wow, wow, it's fantastic. You know, one thing that still baffles me about the warm spring, not even one thing, several things. First, living organism cannot survive in it, not even fish. Around 7 p.m. when there's tranquility, you know, if you come to the warm spring, you will see fishes, fingerlings, you know, rushing from the cold spring into the warm and rushing back. I feel excited. Anytime I see them, I know, I know they are having their own tourism. You know, they are having excursions, excursions. you know, into the warm <laughs> world and they will rush back. Another thing, apart from the therapeutic power of the springs, all of them have therapeutic powers. They heal a lot of yeah. ailments, you know, known and unknown ailments. I used to brag, and to be modest, that we drink this water, it will be a bit tough, even for coronavirus, to wrap it this down. Because we believe even if someone has uh, leprosy, as caustic as, as leprosy could be, mm. if he washes it just some few steps away, and I drink the water here, the power has the potency of killing the germs, germs okay. the, 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 the bacteria or the virus that is causing it, so it wouldn't affect me. Mm. During the rainy season, no matter how heavy the rainfall could be, or how dry the drought could be, the warm spring maintains its size all through the year. The cold springs attract volume for surprise. I confirmed what I've been hearing before, that the, the, the warm spring would never attract volume to itself. The cold spring, that's at the meeting point of the warm and cold now, was like times 10 of its normal size. Hmm. But you needed to have seen the warm spring in its allure, wow. maintaining its size, size. and temperature. temperature. Yeah, wow. The size remained constant all through the year, the temperature remains constant all through the year. Wow. During the hammer season, you know, your body temperature will have calmed down, down. will have dropped. If you rush into the warm spring, you will think it will scratch your face. Mm. It will be so warm, you think it's hot. And you can see physically the steam, the steam. that is coming out. Wow. You know, another thing that makes Ikogusu warm spring a very unique resort is our flowing swimming pool. Mm. You know, most swimming pools, you have to pump water into them, you have to treat with chemicals and things like that. We don't have pump that pumps water into our pool. It's cascading, cascading naturally from the source right into the swimming pool. And when it fills up through the inlet, there is an outlet where the used water, maybe you swam in it some few minutes back, the water you swam in, you know, lab. Blown away. So it's refreshing itself. Wonder. But at the same time, we have to wash it every other day. I mean the swimming pool. Because when you have a swim in it, the water has the potency the, 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 the power to extract the clogs in the pores of your skin. Of your skin, yes, yes. So it's like having maybe a sauna bath or I don't know what you uh what people call it. Now the body oil we now the, the water we want to you know push it overboard you know push it away but since you know it, it gets to a level in the swimming pool it will now get the water the oil will now get saturated at the water level hmm. so you can see it physically if it's running and nobody swam in it there won't be this much or maybe your ear cream or your body oil, whatever, it will remove it. Remove it. And it will get saturated at the edge. In the 70s, precisely around 73, 74, I was pretty young then, the primary school, there was a scotch. There was this uh, 
uh, epidemic, cholera and, you know, warm then. And uh, it ravaged neighboring towns, killed so many people. But we did not record a single case of cholera or a single case of Guinea worm in Nicolosi. It was around that time that Ebenezer Obi sang the song Munawo Misokeki, Cholera Mabamu, around that time. But it did not get to Ekogose. We believe it was, in fact, it happened severally then that if you had Guinea worm, all you needed to do then was to rush down to the water, drink out of it, and wash the spot where it's oozing out, you know, with it. It would drop off. Hmm. It's, there's no way. You see, when they wanted to start bottling, I'm not trying to advertise anything. No, no. A bottle of water in this town. They took a sample of the water to Nabda. They were like, why will you bring an already treated water to us? Because they tapped it from the bedrock of the water spring. Wow. So it was like, no, it's natural water. We have not treated it at all. They did not believe until they got it. That is why Gosi water, I'm sorry, is costlier. Is the we're, we're, crispy, we're still coming to that. You know? <laughs> uh, crisp, crispiest water you can drink. Probably that's why it's costlier. You see? So, I welcome you once again to Ikogosi One Spring Resort. We have been trying to maintain the natural uh, habitation, you know, to make it a very natural conservation, so to speak. You know, we don't allow hunting within the premises. We don't allow uh, felling of wood and, you know, deforestation and things like that. In fact, there was a time, <clears throat> you know, Christianity, so to speak, religion, sort of eroded our tradition. Mm -hmm. They used to worship the deity of the spring oh, the in spring. those days. But when Christianity came, everybody stopped worshipping of idols, in quotes. So they left worshipping the spring. But some few years back, some exuberant youths came here. They had a pool party. They went to the source of the spring. They smoked ham. They threw the stump into the, the source. They had sex at the bank. And the deity got angry. Trees started falling here and there, trying to cover the parts to the, to the source. Because that place, the source, where the source is, used to be a groove. It was only the initiates that were allowed to step into that place wow. in those days. In fact, the first white-skinned man, nobody got to know his name, that first stepped into the source. That's why, you know, warnings by people of the town. He died mysteriously on his way to Ogotun. Those were the days when there were no vehicles. So he was trekking down to Ogotun or maybe to Ibaraudu or something like that. He died mysteriously. So when Reverend John Sidney Magi came, he became very friendly with the deity. In fact, history has it that the deity used to visit him in his lodge. I don't know if it's true or not, but they became very... It, it was Reverend Magi that, out of reverence, constructed a fence around the source so that people would not desecrate the sacred source of the spring. That's the one spring. Because the one spring is the most mysterious of all of them. That is the father. By the time I start telling you the, 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 the myth, you will realize that he is the father. So it was considered sacrilegious to step into the head of the father. See, like I said, uh, like I said, this place has the potential of becoming a head farm, a full-blown head farm, like it happens in the Bahamas and all those uh, countries where they have head farms, you know, because most of the trees there, they have healing powers, they are, you know, they have harbor values. Actually, part of what I planned is to bring people who are experts in identifying all these trees. So we tag them, we put botanical names. They actually did uh, something like that. Some... I came. You know, I wanted to 
extend it to other trees you know and make them the, 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 the tagging to be very bold you see the english name the yoruba name the botanical name and uh, maybe what they could be used for you know right there you will see calm wood so many people do not know what calm wood is but we see the tree there because actually we who are indigenous we actually believe that the trees around the resort around the source of the or the springs were planted by the deity himself for healing purposes so we tried as much as possible to preserve them in their natural habitat Wow. Wow. Some people <clears throat> tell stories of uh, how they discovered themselves that it's not healthy, it's not advisable, so to speak, to hunt around the source of the one spring. That it was not healthy to hunt around the source. There was the story of a man who, who hunted and uh, he tried to kill a, an ape. He shot the, the ape in the head. The only thing he saw were chunks of the brain of the ape. But he, today he never did see the, the, body. the body of the ape. He brought friends the, in, per, in the perimeter. You know how hunters used to you know, search for their game after shooting. They did not find it. It was mysterious. Wow. The water does not have a fish. A man once said that he saw a bull in the middle of the night at the middle of the pool, at the, of, the, of, the, of the stream. And when he, you know, he pointed his uh, hunting uh, light inside, he saw there was water and a single goldfish was inside. He called a friend who was also a hunter very close by and uh, when that one came, oh, please, let's go home. The man said, out of curiosity and boldness, he felt, okay, maybe the deity wanted to bless him. He decided to go back so he could carry the bow. But by the wow. time he got there, it was gone. It was gone. Wow. He said, he thanks God. He, 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 today, the man is still alive. Mm -hmm. He thanks God every time that it was not him, only him and his eyes that saw the bull. So he caught someone. Good though the other person is dead now, but he told me this story many years back. You know? So, so many mysterious things happening around there. You know? Wow. Now, um, I don't know if time will permit me, I will have just to rush to tell you the myths surrounding the... Uh, maybe why we, why we move to the place? Because yeah. it's like an adventure. So yes. we want people to see you know, um, the vicinity, the environment, the way it is, and, uh, you know, just to feel this place when they are watching the video. Yes. Now, um, the Pogos One Spring has sort of developed over the time. Like, apart from the missionary buildings that were for missionary purposes, if you go to the camp area, you will have noticed some... Uh, buildings small in start, uh, small in sizes but they have uh, stone bricks yeah. they were actually built by the missionaries but government started building making their own structures there and there like over here now we used to call this building the western building it was built during the western region days by the western region government so we call it western building and that's the villa over there. You know, they are very modern uh, structures. The presidential villa is there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a two bedroom uh, duplex with a boys' quarter. You know, fantastic rooms. We have like 19 or 16. Yes, one to 16 there. And uh, actually, we originally have 91 rooms and suites. Here? Here. 91. Wow different sizes with different balconies and verandas fantastic uh, buildings that are for lodging of guests so can you please sir can you quickly tell us what it takes to come over to this place yeah there's nothing here because it's it's running like 
a normal tourist resort, you know, a tourist center. You know, if you you can decide to have a sightseeing of the uh, the waters, you can sightsee. You just pay a token at the gate. Or you can decide to lodge. But when you are a lodger, when you lodge in our rooms, you have free access, access to, the, to the swimming pool and to the spring. So we won't pay for sizing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, however, uh, our audience may likely want to know, okay, okay, if I want to lodge here, how much will this cost? How much will it cost? Well, like I said, we have different ranges. Like the presidential lodge, we don't expect that to be the same range sure. with the... Uh, lowest uh, rate of our rooms. We have as low as 10,000 and as high as 55,000. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, sir, can we proceed to... Yes. Uh, actually, they are used in the military days in, during, during the old Ondo states. There used to be a zoological park right from the gate, the, the middle gate there, down to this side. In fact, somewhere around here, where we have now have this shopping mall, used to be the lion's den. But an unfortunate incident happened. The lions, there were two, a male and a female. They pounced on their caretaker and they devoured him. So the military administrator then, I think it was uh, the Navar guy, Olu Sonya, Olu Koya, I forgot him, I'm sorry. Now, I don't think it was Otiko, no, it wasn't Otiko, after Otiko's regime. He rushed down and he gave the order, shoot the brutes. And that was the beginning of the end. You know when the head of the jungle is dead, what happens to the pride? That was the beginning of the end of the zoological park. The animals started dying off and we ended wow. up not having a zoological park. Wow. Wow. You know, some months. Some, let me say years back, there, 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 there used to be a cage beside the pool here that had um, a monkey inside. That was the, about the only animal that was domesticated, so to speak, that was in, a, in, in this park. But along the line, it strangulated itself with its own chain. So when I came last year, was it la yeah, last year, I was able to buy a small monkey in replacement but we woke up one morning and discovered it was gone maybe it was stolen or maybe i don't know so we've been looking maybe we can get a replacement a replacement again you understand but we've not been able to see a replacement for the monkey here is the shopping mall but it's underutilized. It's underutilized. And at the basement, at the park, there it used to be the gym. It used to be the gym, but the gym was, uh, well, uh, we moved the equipment up into one of the rooms, uh, two of the rooms of the shopping mall. And uh, along the line, we had to rest using a walkway there used to be natural plank walkway through the middle through the through the uh, swampy uh, water side down to the reception from the reception down to the source we used to have the uh, walkway but we just had to rest it for now but i know the governor is not uh, sleeping mm -hmm. so he has plans. Very soon, people will start seeing uh, the signs of innovation. Let's just pass through the walkway here so you can go to the source. It actually used to be an extended walkway right from the source to the reception. But you know, over time. Things started decaying. It's still part of uh, the decay we have in our hands. But we are high hopes and very soon everything will be fixed. And we've had a, a fantastic uh, 
If you are having a swim in the pool, look at these trees. They, they are standing like fences. So straight, so you know. If you had allowed all these loggers, they would have put them down and made their roots out of them. That is a flowing pool. It's a flowing pool. Um, we are almost at the meeting point of the unusual. <laughs> I call it the meeting point of the unusual because it's not only the waters that are meeting at the point. It's about the most popular spots at the resort. That is where most people want to see. That's the meeting point because when you walk from the warm spring Immediately you cross over to the cold spring. There is no way you will not wow it. What if you just come out on your mouth naturally? Wow. Okay. But apart from that, you know, like I told you, it's a meeting point of the unusual. There is this mahogany tree that is cohabiting with the country, sharing practically the same route. You can see they are locked in a symbiotic relationship. They've been there for years. Have you seen that? No. That's the place. You yeah. can see them living together. If it was uh, not symbiotic, by now one would have stifled the other. Yes. But they've been going together, whatever. But that's not the story here. The story now is. If you look at the coloration, I mean the color pigmentation of the of the mahogany, it has emerald green, light brown, gray, like that. And this one looks cloudy, you know, dark and whatever. And if you look at the sun in the warm spring, here is the warm spring, you will see that the emerald green is there, the light gray, the brown, that's the color of the mahogany. And looking at the cold spring here, it's about the color of the palm. So this is the one. This is the one. Hello children, how are you? I'm fine. Fine. Can you tell me what you are feeling in your legs there? Sand. As in the water? Is it hot or, or warm? Or cold? Or whatever? Hot water. It's hot water to you? <laughs> no. So that means it's cold. warm. Is it this one that is cold or this no. one? Which one is cold? This one is cold. This one is hot. Are you sure? Yeah. And this one is what? Warm. Warm water. Hot water. Hot water. Interesting. Interesting. And this is the meeting point. That is the meeting point. So this is the meeting point. Yeah. When you do like you can actually stand as right. You know. In fact, if there was tranquility, you could actually even pin your ma your your two fingers in the V shape. One will be in the cold, the other will be in the warm. Like that day that I told you that I captured on my on my phone in a video. Yeah, the cold spring it was like time stamp because it was flowing very close to the tree, the palm tree. Behind this uh, epitaph, it was flowing there. Then. Overflowing the bank. Uh -huh. But this maintains its size. So the only thing that happened then was because this one was heavier, it was able to push the meeting point to where the lady, the young lady, is. But it was like this one has more weight. The, the one was like it has more weight because it was able to push. It was pushing it back. I can show you. Somebody. Okay, let me let me let me do some okay. confirmation. Okay, you can just walk in through that spot, just where Madame is. From here. Yes. From here. Yes. Okay. Just you can just remove your sandals and walk in. Just remove your. Please raise up your trousers so you don't get. Uh, so. Wow. wow, I want you to be a servant. Wow, you can see this one, mm -hmm. one string is maintaining its 
no más clean, clear, clear uh, nature. Mm -hmm. It's not cloudy as you are walking in it. I will. I want to know where exactly the Please cold keep coming. Then. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Wow, I can I done here. Yeah. No, like I told you, that yeah. wound is subconscious. It, it, it is spontaneous. Wow, it will come here, here. That's a spot. Okay. Oh, so yeah. It's cold. It's actually cold. <laughs> and another thing I want you to know wow. is the cold yeah. wind oh. will come. Oh, I can imagine. Like the cold wind. Oh will my come. God. <laughs> When you walk in it, it will become cloudy. And when you come back now, yeah. but this one will come back. Oh. What else? How you doing? See? So this one has us, sorry, finger legs. This is the music point? No, no, no. no. Is, I don't, see, this is what, so it's I, from I, here. It's because it's from here. Aha, uh -huh. it's from here. They have ripple. It's yes, from here yes, that I first started feeling, feeling the, the cold water. Cold water. Uh, uh, yes, you can see now. See. Can can you, can you, can you, yes, yes. 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 And it's here. Yes. It's here. It's from here. Mm. Hey, can I say something? That's the spot. Can you see? How do you feel? Well, like I said, it's so cold. Cool. You might have okay, feel it somewhere. Uh, no, 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 God, God, God. Is this now, now, the truth is, the warmer spring is actually no, warmer than here because the warm spring has died. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the colder spring is colder than what we have because the cold spring has died. I'll tell you that. Sorry, so, 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 let me so that I will know. Ah, you have not, you didn't start with this. Yeah, no, this is very cold. <laughs> This one is like hot water, cold water, cold water. <laughs> ice water. Sorry. Hey, sorry ah. you see, immediately you get uh, you feel like drinking. Ah, hey, weather, okay. Probably Which weather? No, no. Is that effect of weather. What does it? God is great. You don't need refrigerator at all in the house for any cold water. You have cold water here already. Abby. So let's just move to the meeting point of the cold and cold. Don't put on your sandals. Okay, we still have to enter. Wow. It's older than your grace. Exactly. Yeah, you get it. You see, if. Uh, there is malaria in your system. Okay. You feel as if it's pinching you, like yes, maybe you took okay. a, a... Can you put test for malaria? Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. Pinching you as it's if true. You are yeah. My leg is pinching me. No, it's true. <laughs> you are here. Like I told you, it has the potential. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No, no, no. I no, no, no. no, no. Seriously. I didn't I didn't even go back. Oh my god. Actually. Oh. 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 So let's move to the meeting point of the cold and cold air. I've not started telling you the news. Surrounding the waters. Okay. When the tree started falling, after a tree. The no, I'm here. Give me the assignment. I was not even here then. I was not working here then. But the KBC gave me the assignment of uh, buying 50 Afara. This is Afara tree. It's going to be very big. It's a very big tree. So we planted 50 of these to reforest this area. The trees. Now I told you why. Exactly. The yeah, started yeah. falling. In fact, this you remember now. This tree here was one of the trees that fell. It fell across that walkway. Actually, cold. like I told you, they've been here for years. But here was a fence. Okay. Here was a fence in those days. Okay. So nobody took note 
of this until I discovered it, so to speak. So, when I brought my stamp that opened, what since 2013, they were like, wow, they did not even take me to That was why I made that find it. If you look at the two water, yeah. This one is dark. You can see this one looks brick, fish in color. Mm -hmm. This is clearer. This is cold. That is colder. But the coldness of this one is colder than the mixture because what we saw there, the difference is actually the mixture of the cold and the colder. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. I'm setting up. No, 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 please. <laughs> Just take it easy, eh? Ah. Yes. Cold. They're not as cold as that. Yes, oh. This one is this one is fridge. This one is freezer. This is freezer. Yeah, this is freezer. This one is, yeah. is tamoku. They all have their names. Mm. This is awale. Mm. Orosu. Now I want you to note one thing. Look at the sun. Over there, where that one is entering, you can see it's yellowish. The sand there is yellowish. This is pinkish. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you have noticed that they are different. Now. Even physically. That wall there, the green wall. Okay, Behind that green wall, there is no water. We, we have 50 something. And so, where is the water coming from? That is the source. Several years ago, there lived a family. The man was a hunter. He hunted all the way from Ife down to, to this place. His name was Awo. 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 Our fire agent, or not basically, he was a hunter. He was a subsistence farmer, feeding his family. He loved to drink from wine that he tapped by himself. Above all, he was a healer. It was the healing prowess that brought him to People started coming from far and wide, seeking for his healing power. He had two wives, Aweli, the first wife, and the Russian, the second one. Mm. Each of the wives had a child each. One had a boy, the other had a girl. We now we don't know who among the wives had a boy, who had a girl. When the girl child became mature, she got married away from here. So now from like I said. The name was Ora. Mm. The boy, the boy child, the name was, I told you the, one of the women was Orosu. Orosu. The boy's name was Olosu. So, the family of four now, after Ora had taken her leave, they were living around here. I now felt he was soon joining his ancestors that he needed to immortalize himself. And, you know, powerful people of old days, old, 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 old in days, they used to immortalize themselves. Some would turn to the rock. So one day, he decided before death will come naturally, he should turn to water. When he entered ground and turned to water, water started gurgling out at the main source. 
the two wives and Ulosu started begging him not to leave them. He turned to a man again. What I was still going on. The third time, he said, okay, if you don't want me to leave you, I will do something. I will give you the power so that you too you can turn to water. Turn to water. Wow. It was the boy, the son, that first turned to water. You know, the water, the father started flowing. That is the warmer stone. The boy became the warm stone. The warm stone. Wow. You will ask me why the, warm, the boy is not as warm as the father. Because probably he shares the DNA of a cold mother and a warmer mother. Mm -hmm. So it became a lukewarm warm mm -hmm. water. Awele became the colder spring because she was dark in complexion and she was a meek woman, not troublesome like Orosu. Orosu was slim and light in complexion. Our himself was a light in complexion, fine, handsome man with a stout stature. Hmm. Now, you know the women now, let's, let me go and take care of my livestock and things like that. But they still had hands, like the father and the boy had hands. That is why they formed the meeting point here. The mm -hmm. women had hands. They were living happily together. Mm -hmm. they, they formed it. The, the they ones. said, hey. We were once a very united, loving, lovely family. Why was we now turn to water and be flowing in different directions? That's why they decided. After the meeting point of the father and son, the meeting point of the two mates, they decided to form that romantic embrace at the meeting point of the warm and beautiful. Wow. Now, here where we are standing, it used to be the groove. From here, down, up there. Only the initials were allowed to enter here then. In fact, when I was still a very young boy, they made us to believe that if we plug a rope like this anywhere here, it will come to a snake. And we believed it then. If you look at this tree, this is the raven tree. It looks very dead. But if you look up, it's not dead. You can see it's even sprouting. Okay. And it's still standing. There are two. Look at another one. Okay. 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 Now, here is one. Here is another. In between, because this was the, this was father. This was grandfather. It was sacrilegious to even step into this one there. So at the base, at the neck of the father, because the, some people defer to Olosu as the first leader of the Togusi. That was why it was considered sacrilegious to step on the head of the father. Okay. So they made the group to be at the neck yeah. of the son. We are the meeting point of the father and the son. Mm -hmm. These two mm -hmm. peregons, you can see that fallen okay. tree is forming a Rubicon, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But that used to be the gates to the group. There used to be a barrier of palm front or white cloth covering it. There was no roof. Yeah. It was the same between the two for the bees. I don't know, any time for the bees. And there, there is another period. If you brought, maybe you made a vow, a pledge to the deity, maybe for a child. And you brought your vow, you place it at the base of the fifth of the bees. Mm -hmm. Then you will okay. You will see it when you are there. And this thing is still amazing. The deity planted all these trees for healing purposes. That's it. We are trying to make them remain in that.
Give him peace. Give him peace. Wow. You are coming here, make sure you get to this call. Sir? The date is exactly. exactly. Wow. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> this one is not warm. It's us. <laughs> That's the bubbles. That's small puddle. Okay, 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 I can see. I can see, I can see bubbles. Yes. For the same man, you know, they were begging him not to leave them, blah, blah, like that, according to the meat. There yeah, is another version of the meat. I don't know, maybe some overseas mail stories. He just tried to write something. I published it online that uh, uh, the two waters were, he probably did not know they were actually four waters. He said this one was the cantacaris woman, very hot tempered. The other one was a level headed wife. You know? How can you write the history that you do not know? You know? So telling me that this was a woman, when the name, okay, you are trying to you understand? That's the man himself. Allah bless you, Go. See, was the one that I used to have. Don't want to do Lovely. Honestly, when those guys, all of them, one two that were one nine, one two. Wow, see how beautiful the pool is. Yeah, like I told you. Have you seen this much at the water level? That's the inlet. You just didn't flow, Jade. But they come to buy now. So, towards the fill up, over overflow into the children's pool. I decided because of the yield tide. That is the side that is for me there, let's you know. Okay, I'm at So it's going out through there. I don't want to encourage people using this as a repair. That's it, it will take time. Mm, mm, mm. So, we do my own one that I'm going to take it. Yeah. Sharp edge. So, it keeps overflowing into this, but this one will never fill up. You understand? Like I made mention of this one. The, 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 what's it called? Bodily oil. Yes, yes. That gets saturated at the water level. That is why you have that brownish looking line at the water level. Can you see it? Can you see it? Have you noticed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I see it. They are greasy. I want to use this medium to thank you all for watching this wonderful and incredible video of Ikokuzi Warm Springs. I'm sure you've all known the source and the real story behind this wonderful and spectacular warm springs now till i come your way same time on the same channel with another wonderful and interesting video i say bye bye and uh, oh double